As of recording this video, there is three operators that are dedicated to flank watching, at least considered by the community. Those three operators are Nomad, Gridlock, and Zero. I'm going to talk about all three of the operators in this video, and I'm going to try to give some recommendations based off what your playstyle may be. But with that said, let's go ahead and start the video. Talking about the order when they were released, we're going to start with Nomad first. Nomad is a 2 speed 2 armor that comes with the air jab gadget. It's a proximity based trap that when a defender enters their radius, they will be knocked to the ground and completely defenseless for a little bit. There is a few main counters to the air jabs that the defenders can exploit. Number one, it comes with a really loud noise that I don't really know how to describe it so I'll just let you hear it. Another simple counter to the air jabs relies on the nomad player themselves. If they place it in a certain spot that the defenders can see it, they can either crouch below it or above it depending on where it is and shoot it out or impact it. You'll typically find nomad players placing their airdrops below or above its staircases or doorways. You would think, depending on where they place it and the loud noise that the airdrops make, that would make it a pretty easy gadget to just completely ignore, but during a high intense round, then it's pretty easy to get caught by an airdrop. Also, when you get hit by an airdrop, and you pair that with her secondary gadgets, which she can hold flashbangs and the breaching charges, makes her good in the utility department, but she also has some pretty good guns and also not so good guns. The ARX has a solid fire with good damage and comes with a 2 times scope, but has a lower magazine size of 20 rounds. And with controllable recoil, it is my preferred option on Nomad. The AK on Nomad comes with a 2.5 scope, bouncier recoil, a 40 round mag, and has a lower fire rate and the damage doesn't really compensate it. And I'm gonna be honest, this is one of my least favorite ARs in the entire game. Her Beretta that you can find on Capitol has a good magazine size of 16 rounds and really good damage to compensate with that. It's one of my favorite handguns in the entire game and if you can use it, I recommend you should. Her 44 Magnum is horrible. In a few months time, Nomad will have been in the game for 5 years, and she has made quite her name for herself in the community. She has remained consistent despite all the changes that she's received throughout the years, but within a few updates, she's received some competition. Hey, uh, post-editing creator here, uh, yeah, I almost forgot to mention, yeah, Nomad is countered by Jaeger ADSs and one my magnets, and I should also mention, because I didn't mention it for Gridlock, but I did with Zero because I'm stupid, uh, Gridlock can only be countered by one my, and by extension, I'm running, but I, I, I forgot to mention that during the recording process of this, uh, so, so, sorry, Gridlock is quite a chunky girl being a 3 armor 1 speed, but that's to be expected with the amount of utility that she can bring for her team. Gorilla can bring four of her Shrak standards and when deployed, release basically barbed wire that release in a circular fashion. Um, I'm gonna be honest, I don't know if barbed wire is the correct term for this, but you can just look at them, they, they release spiky things. When a defender steps on them, they cannot run and they will take 10 damage, and the stingers themselves will make some type of noise. Two easy counters for the stingers is by each just shooting the stingers themselves, or by exploding them by any means. Your teammates can also destroy your gadget, so look out for that. And remember, you can come with four of these, so you don't necessarily have to use them for blank watch. You can use it for aerial denial, and if you remember that they make a loud noise when being deployed. So if you're trying to go for a plant, you can use it to disrupt the noise of the planter. And as per the counters of the track stingers, remember they have to shoot it or explode it, which either way is making noise, so for a flank watch operator, you will still know if a defender is trying to flank you. And despite her being a 3 armor, you can actually frag out pretty good with her. Her F90 Assault Rifle has good damage with a solid fire rate, and it is basically a laser beam, so overall a good gun. Her LMG is now what it used to be. It can hold up to a 2 times scope, and has pretty insane recoil, especially when we're talking about horizontal, but good damage with a solid fire rate, and with a pretty quick reload time for an LMG, does make it somewhat of an appealing option if you can control that recoil. She does have access to a Gon 6, which is good for clearing out utility, and a pretty good pistol with a good magazine size and good damage. And she does come with a Super Shorty, which is not really good when it comes to killing people, but is really good for soft destruction, especially when it comes to hatches. For her secondary gashes, she comes with the EMP impacts that can help with getting with the wall. You can use your smoke grenades to block line of sight for the defenders, 
or you can use your breach charges to play vertical or destroy a soft wall. The only reason why I think that people don't really play Grelok is because of her 3 armor rating. But considering the fact that Sledge is a 3 armor and people still play him a lot, that doesn't really make sense to me. Might be a little bit more of a hot take, but I think Gridlock is more versatile than Sledge when it comes to fragging and the gadget department. I mainly think that because obviously Gridlock comes with more utility than just a Sledgehammer and frag grenades, and her F90 has a faster fire rate than Sledge's L8. But you can take a quick glance at Gridlock's loadout and see that she's more of a support operator compared to Nomad, and maybe you want more of a frag heavy flank watch operator. Well then your next option is pretty good. At the time of this recording, Zero is the newest flank watch operator, but has a little more of a unique playstyle compared to Grunlock and Nomad. As for Zero's primary gadget, he comes with four Argus cams. Okay, so I've hopped in custom game here to show you exactly what I'm talking about here with the gadget. And this is like my third or fourth time trying to do this section because the game decided to test my patience today. You have to pull out your launcher and then you can deploy your gadgets on any soft surface. Then you can hop on your cameras. And they kind of have this night vision effect, but it really doesn't do anything for gameplay other than aesthetics. If you notice, it is just a regular camera, but it does have a taser similar to Twitch's drone. That has a pretty lengthy recharge time, but you have unlimited shots of it, so you just gotta wait for the timer. But there is a few more quirks with the gadget, and that's the fact that it can pierce through soft floors and even reinforcements. So let's take this reinforced wall, for example. If you notice in the middle of my crosshair, I have a little triangle that's pointing up. That's mean it can be pierced through. So I shoot the camera on, and then you have to hop on the camera itself, and then you have to click space or A, depending on what console you're playing on or PC, and it can pierce through. This also applies to soft floors and soft walls, but you have to see the triangle because if it doesn't appear, that means it cannot go through. Otherwise, it can't. Again, you hop on your camera, you find what camera you want to pierce through, and then click space or A or X, whatever it is, and then it will pierce through. And you can use the tasers. The taser does 5 damage, by the way. Another thing to know about the gadget is once it is deployed, it makes a loud noise, similar to a night vision goggle. So when you're trying to shoot it straight into the side, it will make that noise and defender could potentially hear it. Zero cams are very versatile when it comes to flank watch and getting general information. And a lot of the times you can shoot it straight into the site, but because of the loud noise and it being counted by Jaeger ADSs and with my magnets, it may be caught or destroyed. So I wouldn't recommend shooting it straight into site all the time, but you'll know when the time comes when you can. And the times where it doesn't get destroyed, you get so much information, it is crazy. And not to mention, you still have that taser, so you can maybe destroy a piece of utility or two. And not to mention, he also comes with a great secondary gadget, that being the hard breach charge, which is obviously used to make holes in reinforced walls. He also comes with the claymores. Yeah, I'm not gonna kid with you when I say claimers aren't really that good on Zero, and especially any operators for that matters, because why bring a claim mark for Flank Watch when you have literally all three of the operators that I have talked about in this video? And not to mention with his great gadgets, he also has a very good loadout when it comes to fragging. His SC-3000 is a very good assault rifle. It can come up to a 2x scope, only 26 rounds in the magazine, however, but with really good damage and a solid fire rate. And he comes with the MP7, that has a 1.5 scope, by the way. But other than the 1.5, it has literally the same exact stats as Bandit on defense. He also comes with a Gon 6, like Gridlock. And for his final weapon, he comes with a suppressed variant of the 5.7. And no, you cannot take off the suppressor, because... War, I guess, I don't know. But like the MP7, it has exactly the same stats as any other operator with the 5.7. It has a 20 round mag, but actually lower damage compared to the other handguns that the other flank watch operators have. And that's it for the video. That is all the flank watch operators that are currently in the game, and if you want my personal recommendation, if you want more of a frag heavy flank watch operator, then go with Zero. If you want more of a support, go with Gridlock. If you want a mixture of in between, then I would say go for Nomad. But I suggest that you play with all of them because they're all pretty good operators in their own right. 
And this is kind of a new series I want to start on my channel. The next video I would like to make is how to play every trap operator. So if you want to see how to play any operators in a certain category, let me know in the comments. But with that said, I am Credit Tony. I hope you have a good day or good night. And goodbye.